Hey guys, welcome back to Norwest Kids TV. I'm Charlotte and I'm so glad you're here because I've got something I really want to share with you guys. Do you want to know what it is? I'm here with my friend Vish and he's reading a very, very embarrassing book. Let's go see what it is. Look, he's reading a book called All the Poo, or what they do with all the poo from the animals in the zoo. Isn't that a bit funny? Hi, Vish. Huh? Oh. Hi. What are you reading? <laughs> I'm reading my favourite book. It's called What Do They Do With All The Poo From All The Animals In The Zoo. It's so cool. Oh, is that your favourite book? Yeah. Oh, I'm really sorry. I was gossiping about you. Oh. And I was sharing something that you probably didn't, didn't want me to share with all our friends. Oh, it's okay. Hey, there's good gossip and there's bad gossip. And today, just like this amazing book that I love to read, we're going to hear of some good gossip, the good news of Jesus, and how we can keep on sharing that good news. Uh, hey, right now, Charlotte, you're about to show us a game, right? Pass it on? Yeah, do you guys want to come and play Pass It On with me? Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back. Are you ready to play Pass It On? Remember how we learned you can pass on good gossip and bad gossip. What's some kind of gossip or news that you can pass on? You might pass on someone's birthday. You might be like, ooh, remember it's my birthday party. Do you want to come? Or you might pass on bad news. Like that if there's a uh, fire or some danger and you need to pass it on that they need to get away. Or you might pass on some amazing news that makes you, all your friends say, wow. All right, but in this game, we're not gonna be passing on news. We're gonna be passing on objects. So here I have a baby, a, a boar, and a book. And you need to grab three objects that you're able to pass on. And they don't need to even start with the letter B. And with these objects, we're gonna do a crab walk holding one. We're gonna try and juggle one with our feet. And we need to throw one. So can you guys find three objects? One for you to carry, one for you to throw, and one for you to juggle with. And I'll see you in a minute. to remind yourself that every good thing comes from above sent from your heavenly father is love and that's the truth yeah that's the truth so don't forget to remember don't forget to remember jesus is the way the truth and the light there ain't no other way to get it right you know i got that right Plan. He 
kids. I wonder if you've ever had a time where you had such good news, you just had to share it with someone. Uh, I remember a time just down the road here at Crestwood Skate Park. We called it the Snake Pit. And I had my BMX and I went down the BMX and kind of did a bit of a dodgy jump around the big kids. Such good news. Uh, also, there was another time where um, I ate a chili and I caught a fish. There were so many times I just had such good news. I told everyone, even my dog, who I don't know even understood me or was listening, but it was just such good news. You know what it was like? It was like this. Hopefully it works. The news was so good. It was like Mentos in Coke. I've got these. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the news was so good, it just bubbled out of me. And I had to share it with someone. I wonder if you had one of those stories where you had such good news you couldn't help but share it with someone. Some people might call it good gossip. And in today's talk, uh, we're in John chapter 1, verse 35 to 51, and it's all about this good news, this good gossip that you just can't keep to yourself. It's so good. You just have to share it. You have to pass it on. So let me have a read. We'll do some thinking together, and uh, we'll see where the Lord takes us. Uh, we're going to read from John 1, 35. The next day, John was there again, and two of his followers were with him. When he saw Jesus walking by, he said, Here is the Lamb of God! John's two followers heard him, and they went with Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them. He asked, What do you want? They answered, Rabbi, where do you live? The Hebrew word rabbi means teacher. Jesus replied, come and see. I am already, uh, it is already four o'clock in the afternoon when they were with him and they saw him leave. So they stayed on for the rest of the day. One of the two men had heard John and had gone with Jesus was, his name was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother and tell him, we found the Messiah. The Hebrew word for Messiah also comes from the same Greek word, Christ. Andrew brought his brother to Jesus, and when Jesus saw him, he said, Simon, son of God, you will be called Cephas. This name can be translated as Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. There he met Philip, who was from Bethsaida, the hometown of Andrew and Peter. Jesus said to, Pete, to Philip, come with me. Philip then found Nathanael and said, we have found the one that Moses and the prophets wrote about. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathaniel asked, can anything good for come from Nazareth? Philip answered, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathaniel coming towards him, he said, he's a true descendant of our ancestor Israel, and he isn't deceitful. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael said, Rabbi, you are the Son of God and the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Did you believe me just because I said that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see something even greater. I tell you for certain that you will see heaven open and God's angel coming, going and coming up and down on the Son of Man. Whoa. You know, the big message of today is that when you see Jesus, when you know him, you can't help but tell people, to bubble up and tell people about him. You know, we talked about gossip. Gossip is often untrue and unkind. But there is a good kind of gossip, one that tells the truth, one that is good, one that is loving, one where you tell one person about someone else. That is the good news of Jesus. So here we are in the story. Jesus has just been baptized by John. And the following day, John the Baptist says and sees Jesus. And he says, look, the Son of God. 
the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Two of John's followers saw him, and one of them was named Andrew. Andrew left John to follow Jesus, and the first thing he did was to run to his brother. His brother was Peter and said, Hey, dude, the first thing you need to know is that we found him. We found God's promised forever king. We found him, the Lamb of God. You know, John says the Lamb of God a couple of times to remind us of Isaiah 53 in the Old Testament where sacrifices for people's sin had to be cast from the person to an animal. That was because sin causes death. And God's goodness, he provided a way in which animals would take the fall for man. But they had to do it again and again and again. And so John was saying, look, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. This was the Lamb that would be the once and for all. The ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate Lamb. This news was so good, so big. No wonder Andrew ran to Peter. And Peter left what he was doing to go and follow Jesus. But then the next day, Jesus sees a fella. His name is Philip. And Jesus says to Philip, come, come with me, come follow me. And the very first thing Peter did was like what Andrew did. He ran to his mate, Nathaniel, and he found him sitting under a fig tree, something kind of like this. And he said, Philip, and he shook him by the shoulders, Philip. We found him, the one Moses and the prophets. He's here. Nathaniel found out that his name was Jesus, and he found out that he grew up in a place called Nazareth. And he said, nothing good comes from Nazareth. That's like a hole in the ground no one should ever be born in. But Philip told him, come, come, come see. Philip was saying, I've met Jesus and I need you. I want you to know him. Nathaniel decided to go and see for himself. And Jesus saw Nathaniel. He said, I saw you a while back sitting under this fig tree before your, your mate Philip came and got you. And right then, Nathaniel fell on his knees and he says this, Teacher, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. He was saying, you are the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Friends, good gossip is when you hear something good and you say something good to someone else. And Jesus longs for, he, for others to know him too, so that we could gossip about the good news of Jesus, that there is someone who can save us from our sin, the Lamb of God, one who can forgive us of our sin, the times where we've pushed God away or ignored him or wanted to rule ourselves, the one who can forgive us, that can bring us close to God now and forever. This is good news. So good, not just to keep over yourself, but so good that you want to bubble up and tell others about it. Jesus is the King. He is the only one who can save us. And He is the one who has power over life, over death, for He rose again. The big question in this story is thinking of I wonder who Jesus is. Because when you meet Jesus, when you know Jesus, you want others to know him too. The question is, who will you tell the good news about Jesus to this week?
Hey there, NorWest Kids TV. I'm so encouraged that you guys are meeting online and in person. It is so good to be with you guys. And I just want to encourage you that I've been thinking about how God is our refuge. So I'm going to pray that for us now so that we can know that in our heads and in our hearts as well. Please join me as I pray. Father God, you are so strong and loving. Thank you that you care for me and protect me. Amen. Amen. Thanks, kids. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hi, welcome to Kathy's Challenge this week. So we've been talking about how we can discuss Jesus, being gossips for Jesus. So what we thought was this week, you could start some conversations with your family about how you can share Jesus with your friends or pray with your family. So let's make the chatterbox. Here we go. First of all, you need your A4 piece of paper. Make a big triangle at the top. We're forming a square. Now, we're just going to cut the bit off the bottom. Fold in half that way. And the other side. Now, this is where it starts to get a little tricky. What we have to do is bring the corner up to the centre, but follow your line. Now it looks a bit like an envelope. Last flap. Now just flip it over and do the same again. You're ready to go. Fold it both sides and in you go your fingers. And you're ready to decorate. So I've got one that I prepared earlier. So you can put pictures on the front and numbers on the inside. So let's see how that looks. We're ready to go. Pick a number. Let's say number four. And my question is, what's so special about Jesus to you? Now you can write some other questions. I believe there's some going to appear on the, on the screen. So have a go. Have fun. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to Stump Your Parent. Well, we asked a big question and we get you to ask a question to you, either your parents or your grandparents, even your neighbors. So how you go with that. Today's big question is, share a time when you had news that was too good to keep to yourself. Share a time where you've had news that was too good to keep to yourself. And what is the good news of the Bible? Good time to ask your question to your parents. Hey, it's been great to hang out with you today. We hope to be able to see you next week at church or even the next fortnight back here online. Love to see you soon.